I'm sure they are Marka from Yahoo Japan Research. In this study, we propose a model to predict the success rates in manual tracking tasks. Many interactive systems require continuous tracking operations, such as menu navigation, video recording, and video games. In these operations, the success or failure is judged based on the entire operation, not a single endpoint location. To our knowledge, there are no established models to predict error rates or success rates in these tasks. First, we derive a model for steering tasks. Users move the cursor along a narrow path. The key idea to predict the success rate is to interpret the steering motion as repetitions of ballistic sub-movements. This is called the sub-mechanism model. So, in a steering motion, users perceive the cursor position and determine the speed and direction of the next sub-movement. And each sub-movement is performed based on a ballistic manner. First, endpoint distributions of ballistic motions follow a Gaussian distribution. And based on the steering law, a sub-movement distance is proportional to the path width. And the distribution, sigma, can be predicted by the path width. We can predict the success rate on whether a sub-movement endpoint falls inside the path boundaries. So we obtain equation 4 as the success rate of a single sub-movement. Then, we can compute the number of sub-movements in a trial. And finally, the success rate of whole trial is equation 5. This study 1 follows the method of a classical steering law experiment with a mouse. We tested 4 path lengths A and 5 path widths W. To obtain the corrections F and G, we adapt the parameter optimization. The results show that when we use all data points, the R squared is 0.943, and the mean absolute error is about 3%. Also, we check the prediction accuracy by the cross-validation, which shows a good prediction accuracy of the model. Next, we derive a model for pursuit of a moving target. The target automatically moves rightwards, and the users have to keep the cursor inside the target. Again, we adopt the sub-mechanism model, which means that users successively perform ballistic motions to keep the cursor inside the target. We interpret each sub-movement as a moving target pointing task. The mu and sigma are modeled in Fang and colleagues' work on moving target pointing. We again use the power function, whose power index is the number of sub-movements in a trial. Finally, we obtain the success rate model for the whole trial as equation 7. In study 2, we tested three target speeds V and three target width W. The result shows that when we use the all data points, the R squared is 0.972 and the mean absolute error is about 6%. Also, the result of cross validation indicates the good prediction accuracy of our model. In summary of the two studies, the success rates were accurately predicted. One important point is that the two tasks were very different. Path steering is self-paced tracking, while pursuit is externally paced tracking. And the cursor motion was constrained on the y-axis in the path steering while the cursor was constrained on the x-axis in the pursuit task. This identifies a certain generalizability of our sub-Gaussian model. As takeaways, we can reduce the efforts for conducting costly user studies to measure success rates. We can design better UIs based on success rates. And this work informs future research topics on success rate prediction modeling in more complicated tasks. This is a summary of this work. Thank you for watching.